Hey guys, picked up this rifle this past weekend. Uh, some of you may recognize it right away. It's a Remington Speedmaster 5.52 uh, Chamberlain 22 long rifle. Uh, this one has the 23 and a half inch barrel. And I, I believe after 1980 or so, they only made them like in 20 and a half inch. So I knew it was pre-1980 when I got it. Um, I'm going to set this down here and kind of go over a couple things with y'all. So, it is tube fed. And so you can see there that you slide them in down through there. And then you got your charging handle here on the left side. And it's one of the, in fact, I think it is the only rifle in the world that can, it's a semi-auto and it can chamber and cycle all of your uh, subsonics, like your CCI quiets, the only rifle you can load 15 CCI quiets and it will cycle and go through all of them. So I thought that was pretty cool. On the right side of the rifle is a brass deflector, which is kind of cool, uh, especially if you are a left-handed shooter that will prevent that from going over onto your right arm or up into your face or anything. So pretty neat with that. It's got a little uh, dovetail rail on it there. Uh, this scope did come with it. It's a cheap Tasco three to nine by 40. Um, you know, wood, wood stock, wood foreign. Uh, it just has just like metal sights on it uh, that were factory or stock. Um, so through researching a little more, I knew it was pre-1980 and it does not have a serial number, uh, but instead there are just a couple barrel markings on it. And they started producing these in 1957 and from 57 to 67, they did not use any serial numbers at all. So I know that the gun is pre-1967 now. Um, I don't know exactly when, I'm, I'm trying to do a little more research on it. I just got it on Saturday, just a couple days ago, um, so I have not had a chance, obviously, to get up to the range or anything, but um, the guy who I got it from sent me a video of it from him shooting it on Saturday, and and everything looks good with it. So, I mean, it's, it's got to be at least a 50-year-old a plus, you know, between 50 and 60-year-old rifle. Um, it, it, you know, it's not, it's got a little bit of issues with the barrel, you know, like scratches, and uh, there's some stuff with the, the wood on it, but overall for a 60 year old gun it's it's in pretty good shape um you just got your cross bolt safety there and it has um sling attachments you know, so the sling attachment there and one up there but overall it's a pretty cool rifle um i know some of you guys probably followed uh rotter rotter 204 and that was always his favorite squirrel gun. I haven't seen any videos from him in a long time. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a cool rifle and got it for a pretty good deal. Um, it was actually a trade. And uh, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to have this one. It's, uh, I want to get the CCI quiet in it and try it. I've got, a, I've got several bricks of those and uh, I can't shoot those like in my 1022s or you know anything like that. that you can, but you have to cycle, manually cycle every single round. So uh, I'm interested to see if this will actually cycle all 15. You can also shoot longs, which I haven't seen any longs in a while, uh, but you can also do 22 shorts in it and you can put 21 or 22 shorts in it. And then the tube holds 15 long rifle, but, but yeah, I just kind of want to share that with everybody. It's a pretty sweet old rifle. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.